Hello, everybody. And um, I'm going to show you how to uh, play after the main quest of Fallout New Vegas. And uh, it's going to be on the Nexus mods. And I'm putting the link up on the bottom of the screen. So there we go. And so follow that link. And it'll bring you here. You're going to want to download this file. And uh, I don't know if you can hear the train in the background right now, but you're going to download the file. And uh, once you download it, open it, and you're going to want to drag that into the data folder of Fallout New Vegas. So I'm going to open up data right now. Okay, so this is the file inside of data, PAMQV1. That's the ESP mod that you're going to drag into your data folder located in Program Files, Fallout New Vegas. You know what I'm saying. So when you open up the prompt, make sure you go to Options, or Data Files, I'm sorry, and uh, you're going to want to check the box that has the thing on it. So you want to make sure it's selected in the loadout. Okay. You know, I've had thousands of employees in my time. Oh, shut up, House. I don't have all the time in the world. The Come General's on. accident was unfortunate. In any case, Vegas will be a shining jewel in the middle of the desert. And this is just the start, you see. And so the courier who had cheated death in the cemetery outside Good Springs cheated death once again and the Mojave Wasteland was forever changed. Mr. House's Securitron army took control of Hoover Dam and the Strip, pushing both the Legion and the exhausted NCR out of yes, New Vegas. Yes, I know that my Death Claw companion stomping around is Mr. House quite continued annoying. to run New Vegas Nothing his I can way, do about it. a despotic Sorry. vision of pre-war glory. The streets were orderly, efficient, cold. New Vegas that continued run, the to never, be the sole ever, place ever, in the, the never, wasteland ever, where raider, fortunes were won and lost. Jay Rock, get the fuck out of here, dog. The courier, oh, come on, Jay, I thought you was a solid mob, you know what I'm saying? Ever, ever land, get my DJ out of jail, come on, Mr. Dog. House would keep New Vegas stable and secure for future generations. Mr. House afforded him every luxury at his disposal in the Lucky 38, out of gratitude and a quiet sense of pride for his choice in lieutenants. Mr. House showed little interest on the boomers, who eventually began venturing out to Nellis to meet and trade with travelers. Buried beneath tons of rubble, the Mojave chapter of the Brotherhood of Steel was no more. Those few who were outside the Hidden Valley bunker when it was destroyed settled into new lives, or headed west to find a new chapter to join. The Fiends staged an attack against Camp McCarran during the Second Battle of Hoover Dam. During the NCR's retreat, the Fiends overwhelmed many of the troopers before Mr. House's Securitrons could deal with them. After Mr. House gained control of New Vegas, he sent a Securitron to Good Springs as a token of appreciation for helping the courier. Victor was a mixed blessing, however, as he continually monitored the town for Mr. House. During the Battle of Hoover Dam, the Great Khans quickly evacuated Red Rock Canyon and headed north and east into the plains of Wyoming. There, they reconnected with the followers of the Apocalypse and rebuilt their strength. Bolstered by ancient knowledge of governance, economics, and transportation, they carved a mighty empire out of the ruins of the Northwest. With no cure for the Nightkin schizophrenia in sight, the disgruntled Nightkin left Jacobstown. Without a treatment, their insanity grew. The crazed Nightkin terrorized the wasteland, and Jacobstown suffered repeated reprisals from mutant-hating humans. In the end, the surviving mutants abandoned Jacobstown entirely, its existence quickly forgotten by the rest of the wasteland.
Flush with his victory, Mr. House sent Securitrons into Freeside, thinking to increase his control over the area. When fighting broke out, the Kings fought valiantly, but were no match for the armored killing machines, and were wiped out to the last man. He had survived police service in Colorado, the Great War, combat duty with the Legion, and being the companion of the King. But in the end, Rex finally succumbed to the horrors of the Wasteland. After Hoover Dam, the leaderless powder gangers at the correctional facility vanished into the Wastes, leaving the prison empty. The correctional facility became another abandoned ruin in the Wasteland, its carcass occasionally picked over by enterprising prospectors. Armed with a wide array of improvised explosives and stolen weapons, the Vault 19 powder gang tormented the Mojave Wasteland for years. Citizens of the NCR were favorite targets, and they always suffered the worst fates. After Hoover Dam, Sheriff Myers runs Prim with his own style of frontier justice. He deals with most folks fairly, but now and then someone winds up dead with little to no evidence against them. And so the courier's road came to an end, for now. In the new world of the Mojave Wasteland, fighting continued, blood was spilled, and many lived and died just as they had in the old world. Because war, war never changes. So as you can see, you spawn back at the Lucky 38 Casino. Don't mind this prompt, I just have a mod that allows me to select a second trait every level. So you spawn back in at the Lucky 38 directly after the cutscene, which pretty much means that all of that stuff that the narrator was telling you was fictitious, because it isn't going to happen if you can continue playing. So. You can pretty much go fix all your factions at this point and do whatever you want because you finished the main quest. Mr. House has full control over the, the you know, well, you know what, it doesn't actually 100% go into the gameplay now because it just acts as if you have started a save file before that, but it's, it, the quest is completed is what it, what it, the mod does, so, and I, I really, I really like this mod because I, it's so frustrating that you do all that work, and then you finally get to the end, and then up, game over. At least in Fallout 3, you had the opportunities to get the DLCs that extend the gameplay, and uh, not the case in Fallout New Vegas. So this ESP is a godsend. So I feel like sitting down and uh, messing with the camera, and trying to get a cinematic shot of me smoking a cigarette with the frame rate of a slideshow god damn this slideshow okay anyway that's going to be all the narration i'm going to do over this so catch you in the next one this is my very first gameplay thank you bethesda for allowing me to upload this i appreciate it and you're sexy all right goodbye oh and one last thing i please urge you to like subscribe comment do whatever you want dislike all feedback counts in monetization videos. It's the first time I've ever had a monetized account and so far I've only made two dollars and you get your first paycheck at one hundred dollars so anything you do helps. Share it, dislike, I don't care. I love you. Goodbye.